The John Shamanic Podcast. Words, mirrors, explanations, matrix decoding, the voice, the spells, the workings, the uh, Shivambukalpa, the self sustaining human vessel, reality creation, the mind. The head, the dome, the kings, the wise headed beings, the Hyperboreans, the Lemurians, the Polarians, the Chems, the Kemetics, the inner hollow earth realm, the body, the avatar, hair, heritage, and mystical beings. In a dream state. So where to start? <laughs> oh, home is where the mind lives. Home is where the mind is. So I mirror my own consciousness out. This is where I am. So if I realize that, obviously I move through this realm, but the the only the screen seems to change and i see different things from the observe observe observatory mind state you know from from the eye from the self that i see in the reflection that sits in front of me so this is where consciousness is already Consciousness is already in there. It just reflects itself back to myself. And then it shows me what I am. So, for example, right in front of me, it says Christ. 33. 33 vertebras in my mind and my spine. 42 laws of my art. The chematic pharaoh outlook. The field work is always about my own self. It's always about my own body. So this is what hollow earth basically is. Hollow earth is the eye, the eyeball. So to say the world, the world is a ball. <laughs> the world is a ball flying through space. So... It, but it's not necessarily a globe that I'm standing on. It's more like that I see the world through the globe of my eye. And the globe of my eye is is giant-like. If you know these workings, if you know the perceptional workings of my mind. So see, there you already have the code that is in you. You perceive like a movie director your own life but like i said maybe i'm just a giant shit talker here on youtube who's just completely um psychic in a psychic k-hole lost <laughs> and see i the k-hole is i think the k-hole comes from ketamine or something isn't it but i never i've never done ketamine i have done the most intelligent things in the world which is hey you know just observe what's going on around you philosophy about that know how your own body works know what you produce know how your mind is operating and then you see that you are very powerful with what you do and this is why i'm certainly thinking that i am in an illusionary state on the outer but also also on the inner which reflects itself in the hermetic laws in basically in my own mind but also why isn't it that anybody else is telling or putting these puzzle pieces together when it's so like not obvious to me but if there would be ancient fallen masters, wise ones, 
Why haven't anybody told you this? And I'm damn sure they just they realized maybe even more what I am saying. But maybe they just don't exist because I am literally in an, in an I don't know, artificial system already. Thinking about what this illusionary state is. Whatever. You know, what can I tell you? What Like, is there even something to say? It, what is there to do? So, probably, you know, from a high perception, waking up other energy balls, other souls to this illusionary state and be like, hey, you know, you are the energy ball. You are the light. You are the darkness. You can be a multicolored spectrum that you emit from your own self and then mirror out so you can change your character so many times you can die so many times you can become whatever it seems to be good for you so you know what what is it in the end wait i'm just telling you something what you do with it that's on you so it's only about your state of enlightenment where you Come to further realizations when then people might tell you, hey, you know, you have to fast to realize this. Oh, I tell you, you can drink your urine. Um, some people might say, you know, it's not even about diet. So only you have to pray three times a day, but only at this time. And see, I can always prove you wrong, wrong with at least my understandings. Because, for example, what time is, time comes out of you. You emit time, spell time backwards. So uh, then we might also have these these diets and deities who tell you you only have to eat this and eat that. And I can tell you, hey, maybe it's only about density and buoyancy. It's about how you transmute the food so because you're a transmutant. So it's about how your mind is operating. How is your mind operating with the things that you put into your machine? into your avatar, into your body vessel. So there are so many different factors when we try to put these things together with science, with so so-called Zionism, or I like to say, you know, signs, it's symbols and signs to me. And I can manipulate the signs when I just see different symbols on the surface that I'm looking into into the mirror when I see these reflections in front of me. For example, what kids wear with prints on their shirts or what certain people wear as colors, how they represent themselves with body language, how they speak, what's the tone, the resonance of their voice. Um, and from that point on, you will realize that everything by itself is already a code, is already a sign. So this is basically how you decode the matrix and then you can basically it's not about <laughs> coding the computer it's more like coding your reality because the the computer is it will always be a more much more slower format than the original thing which is you or so to say me we are you know, we, what we is, it's PP, the plasma, the inner light. So um, the, that's the key to realize, hey, you know, you have it inside of you. So use it and show it to the world. And then whatever might happens on this journey will happen. But it's just that. The quest is how much can you break the surface to go in deep to find out who you are and speak from that. You know, I, I always, not always, but I try to say things as clear, as deep as I can. And I know what I write down, what I do, what I think, what I am represents itself in the mirror. This is how it works, you know. So, 
I can also could also tell you, you know, it's about the alchemical vessel, it's about density and buoyancy, how dense you are. But I can also, you know, flip that then around and be like, hey, you know, if you eat a lot of things, you will have a lot of energy. And only because I say so, it will work. Because it's a belief system. And th that's the thing that we all... But, you know, to get to that point, I would say clean out yourself as much as you can. And it's basically about your mind. You basically only have to clean out your mind. So what we do with fasting, what we do with regulating and cutting, re reducing and cutting things back is to give your mind the opportunity to regenerate it use itself. And if it, that happens, you can work with your conscious mind state a lot better. And from there on, you create. Everything that I have done in the past was my subconscious mind now coming much more to the surface and mirroring itself out. So these are the workings. These are what you have inside of your brain will mirror out. Now, the problem in society, what we have is that the system, how it's working by itself, is producing literally robots because <laughs> we, for these people, like I said, I don't even know if they exist. Not many beings have these inner standings. And then if they would have them, they would not speak openly about these things. So if we are not speaking about these things, how would we even manifest them? Yeah, they stay in the mind. That's a very great thing to have. That's, these are diamonds in my mind. But I, I put these diamonds out there into the machine. So because if I would not do it, if I would say, hey, you know, I have realized this, but I keep it to myself. It's only for me. It might work, you know, for your soul track. And when you die, you carry all your things that you've done in your mind with you, you know. No material goods, but you carry what the, the understandings, the teachings, the Akashic records, the, the workings. That, that's what you take with you. But why not change the system, how it works? You know, never change the running system. I also get that, you know. But why not, in, let's say, inform? Why not inform the system with the, with the brilliant things you have? And this is what I also was telling with um, what YouTube or the social network was made for. It was literally made for, hey, you know what? You have something in your mind, share it with everybody. Because everybody is you. I am all bodies. I am you. I am even the most, the most hated persona, so to call mask, that you don't like, that you cannot identify with. Should I give you certain codes, names, spellings? Now, if I'm going to say certain words, you might be like, oh, no, he said this. Now, I cannot identify with this person. But you get what I'm saying here, the idea. Right? So this is what we have to learn. We have to learn that it's about our mind state. How do we operate with our minds? And what I can tell you from my past years that I was going through a lot of that mentally, me mental death modes where I was going through recoveries where I was you know, I was getting in so deep where I found out that, I, I mean, what I just shared, that's me. But if a continuous practice, which is helping at least me, is Falun Gong, Falun Dafa. Because you, if you know, if you get into the quantum level, the metaphysical level, I, if you're going to read the Tzuan Falun, if you're going to study that, you know, you, you can also talk about universities and schooling systems you know, school and the skull, which is your brain, your, your mind. Um, if we go into studies, into universes, into speaking capacities, into what spelling is, what shamanism is, what wizardry is, we find out that 
the word organizes water. The word organizes molecules, atoms, atoms. So the fall, the fall of the soul, the light, the light that sits inside of myself. So the light falls into this dense physical matter. From there on, it gets organized with senses. Now, these senses that we have are in the first place not cleaned out. We can clean them out with Shivambukalpa urine. So we can cleanse and then organize the body avatar with sound frequencies that's in the first place what we should consume we should consume information now we've completely flip trick that around and we're like hey you know we have to densify ourselves which is basically densifying our ability to identify frequencies to identify you know what your intuition is you already feel in yourself you don't have to you don't have to say why you feel that certain way you just feel it and that's by itself enough for being yourself because this is how your avatar functions your intuition tells you if something's good for you or not so what but what we do is we we live in this giant hall of mirrors where we mirror back to each other what um is basically killing the light, killing the soul. So we become these robotics. So, but I all, because I see through this process and I see through these timelines, what I'm doing here is extremely intelligent because I put my light that I have into the system, even though nobody would listen to. because this is how your avatar functions your intuition tells you if something's good for you or not so what but what we do is we we live in this giant hall of mirrors where we mirror back to each other what um is basically killing the light killing the soul so we become these robotics so but i all because i see through this process and i see through these timelines what i'm doing here is extremely intelligent because i put my light that i have into the system even though nobody would listen to it it's still there and the, it's basically saved in these akashic records which are from this bizarre per perception already in everybody in our in our school in ourselves but we are not going in deep so I was going in deep. Now I'm pulling that out and I'm reflecting that into the black mirror for everybody. Because from my perception, this is what will reorganize the system. It will reorganize your body avatar, how it functions. So regulate things. Also, you know, it's not about cutting out materialism because you we live in this 3D realm. That's stupid to say material goods are not needed that's stupid because i mean why would you be here you would be you're still here to 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 walk through space and time but if you know the codings that it, everything operates basically from spirit spirit or mind or you know even higher dimensions but let's start with the mind you know let's start with yourself let's start with cleaning out your vessel and then putting better things into yourself, you know, listen to yourself, listen to your, to your intuition and reorganize yourself. It can I feel where if you ask plenty musicians, them know it, but them can't do it. So people still searching for this truth here which this reggae music, you know, bring Christ to them. And the only, the only purpose it served is to tell the people about Rastafari. Did you, did you always intend being just a reggae musician or had you played rock music and, and soul music before? In that sense, we really listened to a lot of music, you know? I mean, first time. So listen to 
music that play on the radio. Not that we couldn't afford to buy records, so we listen to the radio. And anything the radio play is that we hear. So I wasn't really into them thing. I was really into like, you know, call it spiritual music, you know, to get more revolution. So it seems to me like this is. You know? How long have you been a Rasta? The eye. Well, I've been a Rasta from ever since. <laughs> if you get it. You know? But it's not how long I've been a Rasta. It's how long it takes to grow up. Because what he is is what he is. All kinds of supplements and Bobby Hammett's work basically in uh, Bon Jovi. This somehow reminded me of your post. Um, it's real time alchemy with all kinds of supplements and Bobby Hammett's work basically in uh, a much more different format. So stay fresh, yeah. Thank you. A much more. I can't believe this motherfucker just said this shit. I can't believe this person said this. You know what I'm saying? I can't believe this person said this because it is in the mentally ill that you get the new paradigm. In a, in a world like this, yes, you better be crazy. Yep. That's the only way you get out of this shit. It is in the mentally ill that you get the new paradigm. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Think about it. Some crazy motherfucker gonna do some shit that's genius only because he's crazy. See, we, we changing this shit around. We going above all other shit. Brother, oh, brother and sister, oh, this righteous man and all this shit here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's lovely, lovely, true and indeed, righteous. Oh, everything is beautiful, everything is blessed. That ain't nothing but some same old fundamentalism. We saying that it is in them crazy motherfuckers that all the shit comes to pass. It is in the mentally ill. And what is more mentally ill than a damn 20th century or 21st century nigger? That's where you get it. That's why the white man copying you. You know, you got to look at, you got to know, here's James Brown doing this hollering. Somebody said, wait a minute, hold on. Go back and analyze. Structure. This is not your basic lecture to deal with the improvement of your life. This is to deal with the destruction of your life. <laughs> this is, oh, that's a, that's a nice beetle. This is not good. It is evil. <laughs> That's what it's supposed to be. I know so this, thing, this thing is crazy. What I am dealing with here is I'm dealing with the black keys on the piano. I'm dealing with the spaces between the beats. I'm dealing with the dark between the light. So, oh, teaching Shayola. So uh, I give out the what you call it and all because the spirit called for that. So that's.
But nature is not designed to destroy itself. It's only designed to purify itself. So you will have a hurricane or a volcano eruption, but it's only going to come to a certain head, and then it's going to go dormant. That's the way of nature. The alchemists understood to get beyond just the natural process to turn things into a new reality, you had to crack the cosmic egg, and to go beyond that, you had to manipulate the forces of nature with magic and medicinal or chemical aspects. You see what I'm saying? So yes, all that shit is good. You see, we didn't say that the damn pharmaceutical was not African because it's alchemical. You see, it was, it was alchemical. We're saying that the white boy is telling you only deal with pharmaceutical and don't deal with the natural shit. And you can't have that in a, in a mayati imbalance. You understand what I'm saying? But what we're dealing with here now is not the improvement of your life. We're dealing with overrunning this shit. And when I get through tonight, I'm going to show you how this shit going to go down. Because it's going to come from something that you don't even believe. But don't worry about it. There's some things, no matter how much you can rationalize, there's some times when you get up and you go, God damn, I'm horny. And there ain't no rationalization, no mathematical formula or whatever. Can I rationalize this motherfucking horniness? It is because it is the force of eros, and it has nothing to do with what you logically pursue. It just is the primal force. So we're going to deal with some stuff on that particular level. All 13 dimensions are illustrated comic books, or so to say, illusions. <laughs> you know, stay, stay, stay freaking crazy. Write down uh, well, all chem I, chaos, melanin, organized chaos. I am Paul Kim, psychokinetic, put it all together. I manifest uh, tokens, Kim. Outside chaos ca cause chaos magic. Um, stay structured and the structure will hold you together. Switch going to universe B, vinyl track. Oh yeah, the vinyl track is by the way here. <laughs> it might sound crazy, but if you know, basically I walk around like this in this room. Oh, maybe I, I consume too much Bobby Hammett. 
<laughs> uh, but you know, also with the workout, stay, stay open-minded, but also stay crazy. You know, I was doing a lot of different working routines. You see the same thing that was important to me 10 years ago. You see the same thing is a faint memory. So, yes. This is nothing but an illusion. It's called Maya. It's an illusion. And this illusion is sustained by something that is called glamour. So, glamour is what the, the glamour is what makes this illusion, it makes this illusion function. So glamour is what the ego taps into, and it taps into, and when the ego taps into this glamour, it makes this illusionary world that we live in possible to live in based on this glamour. So what it does, it takes something.